so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. Do you like to draw? I do too. Let's draw an animal together. Okay, you can guess what animal it is. It's really tall, has a really long neck. Yeah, and they live in Africa. <gasps> yeah, a giraffe. Let's draw a giraffe together. First, let's draw the head. Ooh, there we go. Two little ears, just like that. Oh, and then on top, they have these things called Aussie cones. Yeah, they kind of look like horns, but they're a lot cuter. <laughs> All right, two small eyes. There we go. And then two nostrils, and then a smiley face. Nose, mouth, and eyes. All right, now let's draw the really long neck. Yeah, there we go. And then there's the body. Oh, and then it has four legs. <laughs> there we go. And then the feet. Perfect. And the tail. Whoa. Oh, and you can't forget about all the spots. Just like that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Wasn't this so much fun drawing a draft together? Yeah. If you want to draw more with me, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. We are at Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium in Tacoma, Washington. And today, we are gonna see some awesome animals. Let's go. Got my members card. All right, okay, come on. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, here we go. Hey, this is Cindy. And what do we have here, Cindy? That is a Pacific herring. Ooh, and we are about to go feed some penguins. Did you see how we walked up really low? You gotta stay low so then they don't get scared. are the color white. That polar bear, yeah, his name is Boris. And he's 31 years old. Boris was rescued from a circus, a traveling circus in Mexico. And it's really important to have ice so polar bears can hunt off of and get get seals in the Arctic. So we should be really aware of what we do to our planet so polar bears can have a lot of ice. Whoa! Boris is so pretty. See 
what that is? Yeah, that's a tiger. Meow. That's a really big kitty cat. <laughs> that's actually a Sumatran tiger to be exact. And there's only about 300 left on this entire planet in the wild. So here at Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium, this tiger is an ambassador. <laughs> so this is Sarah. Hi. And Sarah, what do we have here? This is Gonzo, and he is a tree climbing anteater. And here at Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium, we're training him to be part of our Wild Wonders Outdoor Theater show that's Ooh. brand new this summer. Hey, Gonzo. So, what are we gonna, yeah, what are we gonna be doing right now? You're gonna help me train Gonzo to eat vanilla yogurt Ooh. from a tube. Okay, so, so. This is something that he will love to do. Hold okay. that up Hold right it. up to his little nose. Okay, here and I he's go. Gonna slurp that vanilla yogurt Ooh. right out with his super long tongue. Whoa! Check that out. Look at Gonzo's tongue, it's so long. Now, of course, in the wild, Gonzo would not eat vanilla yogurt, he would eat ants. And he has really big claws that he can use to break open ants' nests and termite mounds, and then he'd use his long tongue to slurp those bugs right up. Ooh, yum, that looks pretty tasty. Yeah, so Gonzo has been around people his whole entire life, and when he first came here, we started training him to be part of the show. So that's why he's so comfortable hanging out hey. with us out here. Yeah, he seems like a really great and fun anteater. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm making some diets for the meerkats. Some meerkats? I love meerkats. What else are you going to do today? Well, you know what? I was going to do some enrichment. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Excellent. Let's so, go over to the exhibit. OK. And what's enrichment? Enrichment is giving our animals choices, things to do, things to play with, kind of like kids on a playground. Ooh, that sounds fun. I like playing. So let's give them some choices. Okay. Let's put these wiffle balls okay. in the blue pool on exhibit. OK. All right. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Got it. this place. This is the exhibit from the habitat of where meerkats play. Whoa. <laughs> okay, anywho, back to it. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Right. Okay, let's put these in here. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun to see the meerkats play with these wiffle balls that we're putting in here. Okay, and the second one. Hey, here we go. Let's see what else she wants us to do. Hey, here you go. Thank you. What else do you have well, for I've us? Well, I've got some more fun toys. Let's put these out on the exhibit as okay. well. Okay. Where should I put these? Wherever you want. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Where should we put these? Here, come on. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see. I think the yellow one should go. Oh, do you see this? Let's put it right there. <laughs> And then, ooh, come back here. Let's put the pink one right, let's do this one right here actually, right next to the yellow one. And the really big red one, let's put over here. Here, I'll meet you over that way. <laughs> it's like I'm a meerkat, watch. Okay, let's see what else we need to do. Come on. Okay, is that all? No, Blippi, let's okay. take the fun up a notch. Let's add some food enrichment to the toy enrichment. Ooh. Here's some mealworms. It's like chocolate for meerkats. Ooh, yum, look at this. Ooh, yum. So where would you like me to put this? You know what, let's sprinkle some in the wiffle balls. Okay. And if you want to put some elsewhere in the exhibit, you can do that too. Okay, it's kind of like a search and find because <laughs> we'll put some right here and then we'll hide some for them to find it okay so spread out the wiffle balls and let's sprinkle some 
on top of the wiffle balls. Wee! <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's a little bit more. Let's put some right on this ledge. Mmm, those look tasty. Okay, let's just put the rest in here. All right. I think we're ready. Are we all done? Great job, Blippi. Let's let them out. Okay. is a dromedary camel, and his name is Winchester. <laughs> dromedary camels are found in Africa, and if you're three years old and 36 inches or taller, you can ride camels at Point Defiance Zoo. They're really soft. Wow. We are in the Marine Discovery Center. In this place, has amazing sea creatures and we can actually touch them. See? You can touch but with only one finger, okay? Oh, look at these right here. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> that scared me. Ooh, and look, here's a snail. Hello. Hi, little guy. And hey, little girl. Hello. Whoa. Oh, oh, look at this over here. One finger. Woo! Did you see it? it? Like attached to my finger. Here, get a really good close. Oh, look at how big this one is. <gasps> okay, ready? Woo! Wee! Oh, it attaches to your finger and it's so soft. Oh, last but not least, starfish. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! They're really hard. It's so cool. And these are actually alive. They're real sea creatures. <laughs> they don't move very much, but they do move. Really slow. I really love the Marine Discovery Lab. <laughs> Carousel, come on! Hey, horsey! This is gonna be so much fun! See? It's a carousel! And right here, this is the instrument panel that turns on the carousel. And I got the key! <laughs> okay, let's put in the key right there. <laughs> and... one of those today. A zebra, did you see the zebra? Oh, a pig. Oink, oink. <laughs> Ooh, tiger. Ooh, an anteater. Okay. Now I think it's time for us to ride the carousel. Come on. But first we need to pick our favorite animal. Gotta wait for it to stop. Come this way. Wait, the zebra. Hmm, I don't know if I wanna ride the zebra. Let's see what else. A horse, a polar bear. Hey, horse. So much fun. Okay. This animal, yeah, is a poison dart frog. And I am going to ride this animal. Gotta buckle up first. And once I'm all buckled up, oh, gotta loosen that up a little bit. 
Oh. All right. I am ready to ride. Here we go. See, we spin around and around as well as go up and down. Poison dart frog is the color yellow. Whoa. Whoa. Whee. This is so much fun. Wow, look at this place. It's so beautiful. There's so many leaves on the ground, and these trees are so big. Hey, did you see that leaf just fall from the tree? Yeah, speaking of the word fall, yeah, it's the season, fall. <laughs> also known as autumn. And in this video, you and I are gonna learn about the season of fall. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. Whoa. Wow, I sure do love the outdoors. <laughs> hey, did you know there's four seasons throughout the year? Let's list them. All right, the first one is spring. Whoa. That's when the flowers start to bloom. It starts to warm up a little bit. Sometimes it rains a lot during spring. Yeah, wow, everything's just growing. So nice. Oh, sheesh, it's so hot right now. Yeah, this is summer. Whoa, I love summer. I love going to the beach. I love laying down on a towel and I love soaking up the rays. <laughs> Can't forget about drinking lemonade during summer. <laughs> ah, and then comes fall. Yeah. See all the leaves falling down? Yeah. Another word for fall is autumn. Wow. The trees and the leaves, the leaves start to change colors. They might have been green, but then they change into orange and red and yellow and such beautiful colors. <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> oh, what season is this? It's so cold. <laughs> yeah, this is winter. <sighs> this is when it starts to snow in some places around the world. It definitely becomes a lot colder. <clears throat> and this is when you can do some fun winter sports. <laughs> but okay, those were the four seasons. But this season right now is fall. So let's learn about fall. Yeah! Whoa! Look at all these leaves on the ground. Do you see them? <laughs> Whoa, I love fall time. Yeah, these leaves are falling on the ground because it's fall. Hey, check it out. See these leaves? <laughs> They're the color green. Whoa, they're so nice <laughs> and nice and wet. Yeah, hey, and then during fall time, whoa, do you see how these same leaves are turning yellow? Yeah, and they're actually kind of dry. They're drying up and then they fall down to the ground. Whoa, look at all these leaves. <laughs> I'm gonna collect some <laughs> and I'm gonna use them for an art project later. I'll show you the art project. It's gonna be so cool. Whoa, there's so many. Whoa. Look at these two leaves. Wow. One, two. Two leaves. Hey, what color are these leaves? Yeah, they're both the color brown. And this leaf is really thin. And this leaf is really thick. 
Wow! <laughs> oh, oh, look at this leaf! Wow! <laughs> this leaf is really small. And this leaf is really big! <laughs> okay, I'll collect these leaves and use them for our art project later. <laughs> Wait a second! Here's some more leaves! Whoa! Two more leaves! One, two! And what color are they? <laughs> yeah! The color yellow! Whoa! We have so many great leaves for our art project. Okay, let's continue to collect these leaves. <laughs> wow! Look at all of these green leaves! <laughs> green is such a cool color! <gasps> Whoa! Look at these! This is so cool! Check it out! Do you see these leaves? They're the color green. And then they're slowly changing to the color red. Hey, maybe we can look on the ground and see if we can find some red leaves that fell off. Hey, here's two right here. Here's one. Where'd the other one go? <laughs> here it is. All right, here's two red leaves. Good job. Oh, look at all these leaves! Yeah, you and I did a really good job collecting all of these leaves. Hey, check it out! We have a yellow leaf. We have a green leaf. Ooh, we have an orange leaf. And we have a brown leaf. <laughs> There's so many leaves to use. Yeah, remember what I said earlier? We were collecting the leaves for an art project. And here we are! <laughs> so the art project consists of the leaves, a black marker, some glue, and or some tape, <laughs> and a big white piece of paper. Whoa! <laughs> okay, first thing we have to do is take our black marker and draw the trunk of the tree, which is going to be a tall rectangle. Ready? Perfect! That shape is a rectangle. And now we need to make all the leaves. Here we go! Yeah! That looks like a great tree. Yeah! There we go. Perfect! <laughs> That's a nice fluffy tree. <laughs> okay, now the next thing we're going to take either our glue or our tape and then put it on the tree with obviously the leaves. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try the glue first. Let's see. Ooh, this leaf looks great. Yeah. All right. Nice amount of glue on the back. Stick it right there. That looks amazing. How about a yellow leaf? Put some more glue. Wow, this is going to look so great. Whoa, look at this green leaf. Wow, <laughs> it's like a miniature tree. <laughs> All right, nice long bead of glue right there. Perfect. Ooh, this is so much fun. I wonder how many leaves we're gonna glue on this piece of paper in all. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm just gonna keep gluing these leaves one after the other. Whoa, whoa. I don't know if that leaf is sticking up there. Hey, why don't we try the tape? Maybe the tape will work better. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That worked great! <laughs> All right, sometimes in life, if something doesn't work, you can try something else, and maybe the next thing will work. Wow, perfect. This is looking so good. Another one. Whoa!
job. You and I just made a tree on paper from all the leaves we collected earlier. <laughs> Good job. That was so much fun being crafty with you. Oh, check out these leaves. They're so green. Hey, and when I touch them gently, yeah, nothing happens. They're just so soft and moist. Wow. But this leaf over here. Whoa, this leaf looks like it fell from the tree above. Let me pull it out. Yeah, you see this leaf? Yep, it definitely fell because it's fall. <laughs> and it turned brown. I wonder what happens when I touch it. Yeah, did you hear that? It crunched because it's so dry. <laughs> okay, we'll keep this one for later. <laughs> Leave no leaf behind. <laughs> No time for sleeping, it's time for a craft. Yeah! <laughs> Look at this, another art piece. I am so excited. I love leaves and I love the season of fall. All right, so for this art piece, we need some crayons. Whoa, <laughs> I dropped one. Ooh, these are all the colors of the season of fall. And then we need some leaves. Yep, yep. And we need some white paper. And in order to do this art project, you need a flat surface. Yeah, like this picnic table. All right, so first let's pick a leaf. Um, let's see. Hmm, how about we want a, whoa, yeah, this green leaf. Whoa, <laughs> this is gonna be cool. All right, you flip it upside down. Yeah, so it's face down. So you see the underside of the leaf, the backside. You put it under a piece of paper. So I feel the leaf right here. And then since it was green, I'm gonna use a green crayon. And then you rub it lightly on top. Whoa, do you see that? That is so cool. <laughs> and now I'm gonna spice it up a little bit and outline it in black. Yeah. There we go. What a beautiful leaf. Okay, let's do another one on the same piece of paper. Let's do, how about this? Big orange leaf. Yeah, it's kind of orange and it's kind of brown. <laughs> okay, it has a hole in it. That's okay. It's going to be really tricky, but I think we got this. Okay, I'm going to put it to the side like that. Yeah, at an angle. There we go. All right, then let's do the color brown. Ready? Oh, look, <laughs> do you see what we did? Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna outline this one. Yeah, I love outlining them. Yeah, you don't have to, but I'm just going to because it makes it a little bit more apparent. Yeah, hey, I have an idea. Why don't we take a third color, like the color orange, yeah and write a word on the bottom. How about the word fall? Okay, ready? Spell it with me. F A L L. Fall. 
<laughs> Good job. Okay, let's put that right over there. And then let's do another leaf. Hmm, let's see. So many leaves to choose from. Hey, look at this one. This one is a unique one. Yeah, this is from a fern. All right, let's put that right here. And then let's use the color green again because the leaf was green, but you could actually use any color you want. Whoa, this is looking really, really cool. Wow, do you see that? It's hard to see, but it's really cool. Yeah, look, looks the same, huh? <laughs> All right, and now let's take the color red and write the word leaf. Ready? L E A F. Leaf. <laughs> All right, let's do one last leaf. Um, hey, I know. We haven't used the color yellow yet. Yeah, let's use the color yellow. So let's find a yellow leaf. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, that's a bright yellow leaf. Okay, <laughs> all right, okay. Put this leaf right in the middle. There we go. And here we go. Wow, look at that. Whoa, <laughs> another great leaf. Okay, let's spell one last word. Let's use the color, let's use the color black since we didn't outline this. Let's spell, I know, let's spell my name. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> this is so much fun doing all this fun art with you. Wow. That was so much fun learning about the season of fall with you. <laughs> it's one of my four favorite seasons. <laughs> we learned some counting, some colors, some size comparisons, textures, and we were really crafty. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I. P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, Bye-bye. Three, two, one. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And do you see what I'm wearing on my head? Yeah, my hat. I wear this hat every single day. I love hats. They look really cool, and they keep the sun from hitting your head. Whoa, how about you and I? We could draw my hat together. All right, first let's draw a curved line on the bottom, a parallel curved line as well. Straight line, a straight line, and then a half circle up top. Whoa! And then this is gonna be a little tricky. Check this out. Whoa! All right, let's draw an oval for the button. All right, and what color is my hat? Yeah, blue and orange. All right, so we need to repeat them. There's orange, here's orange, and then Orange down here, of course. And then right up top, <laughs> we're gonna have to do blue right here. Yeah, it's a pattern. Blue, orange, blue, orange. And how does that look? Does it look great or does it look great? <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, if you love drawing with me and wanna draw some more, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. -P -P -I. All right, see you again, bye-bye. where we are. We're in the frozen food aisle in a grocery store. <laughs> but look at what it is. Yeah, frozen raspberries. They're so sweet and high in vitamin C. I wonder how these raspberries got here. Wow, look 
at all of these raspberry bushes. And all of these raspberry bushes have raspberries on them. And this is the color raspberry red. Hmm. Hmm. And it's so tasty. Well, since we're picking the, these to be frozen, we pick them at the perfect ripeness. And actually, we don't pick them, we shake them off with the harvester. Wow! We're in front of the harvester. See, and deep in there, it's shaking these bars like this. And so then, the really ripe raspberries fall off into the harvester. Look! shaking off the bushes, they arrive on these conveyor belts. So what do you do? I would get all the raspberries and pick off the bad ones. Whoa, like, oh, like this one, right? Perfect. Okay, put that there and say goodbye to this. Bye-bye. There she goes, picking off all the bad ones. Look at him and his tray. He passes it to the girl, and then she stacks them up. Good teamwork. Now that the harvester is really full, they have to pull up next to the truck and unload all of the raspberries. The truck arrives to the facility, and then the raspberries get taken off the truck with a forklift. Whoa, that forklift can carry a lot of raspberries. So the raspberries came from the farm and got transported from a truck. And then a forklift pulled it off of the truck and loaded it up right here. And so now, all of these raspberries are gonna go into this cooler. Watch this. There they go into the cooler. Wee! Bye-bye! Hello. Now, this is basically a giant refrigerator. So then the raspberries get nice and cold super quick. Look, he's wearing nice warm clothes. Wow, that's a lot of raspberries. taking a weight of these raspberries, see? Okay, now that we have them all weighed up, we bring them over here. 
Putting the raspberry on another belt. Ooh, then the raspberries go to the top, and then this machine flips the trays, and the raspberries come out of the trays. Wow, look at all the raspberries! See the trays go bye bye? So many conveyor belts! Wow! Those look so tasty! Hello, ladies! You're doing a mighty fine job! Now this room is where the raspberries get frozen! It is so cold in here! <laughs> Whoa, look at them! Now, all the raspberries are frozen, so we have to put them in boxes! All perfectly weighed out! Look at that! Whoa, look at all those boxes of raspberries! Wow! So the raspberries just finished getting packed up into these boxes. So then what we're doing is loading it to the back of a semi-truck. And the semi-truck is going to deliver it to the grocery store. That's how the frozen raspberries got all the way to the grocery store. They grew on the bushes, really big and red. And then the harvester drove down the aisles of bushes and shook them off. And then they got packaged up in these plastic bags. And then they arrived here. Hey, I think we should go make a frozen raspberry smoothie together. Alright, now it's time to make a raspberry smoothie and a raspberry sandwich! Yum! Alright, so let's make a sandwich first. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa! Before you touch food, you have to wash your hands. Let's go wash our hands. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Get your hands nice and moist. Okay, whoa! Now you have to put soap on your hands, and then you scrub a dub dub. But I'll tell you the correct amount of time. All right? You have to say blippy, 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 and then you keep going faster and faster until you can't say it anymore. All right? Ready? Blippy, 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 all right, whoa. Now, you rinse the soap off your hands. All right, dry off your hands. I am so excited for the food that we're gonna make together. All right, here we go. Let's get some bread for our sandwich. Ooh, the heel, yum. I'll save that one for someone else, though. All right. There we go. <laughs> one slice of bread, two slices of bread. All right, there you go. All right, let's uh, start out with some peanut butter. Yum! Take a big scoop. I love peanut butter. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, slop it around. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yum! Okay, and on this other side, ooh, we are gonna put some raspberry jam. Mmm, this sandwich is gonna taste so good. All right, take a big scoop of raspberry jam, plop it right there. <laughs> All right, spread it around. Oh, yum, yum. All right, put it down. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> put the lid back on. All right, here we go. Let's cut it in half. All right, and let's cut it into quarters. Yum. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> All right, let's uh, put this on a plate. All right. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, yum. All right, you know what beverage would be so tasty with this raspberry sandwich? <sighs> yeah, a raspberry smoothie. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you how to make one. First, we need to go get our milk. Hold on. Okay, so I have almond milk and normal milk. So let's put a little bit of almond milk in here. Perfect, that looks great. And let's put a little bit of Normal milk in here. Whoa. Whoa, okay, perfect. <laughs> I spilt a little. Look, <laughs> that's okay. We'll clean it up after. All right, and let's take a banana. Let's actually cut it in half because that's a lot of banana. I want more raspberries than banana, but I still do like banana. Bombs away! <laughs> All right. And wait, what are we missing here? Yeah! Raspberries! Okay, I need to go get them from the freezer. Yeah! Frozen raspberries! I use frozen raspberries because they're really good in here because then it makes it nice and cold and then it feels like little ice chunks. <laughs> All right, okay, how do we open this? There we go. All right, the correct amount is one handful. No, it's two handfuls. <laughs> yeah, there we go, yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's add a little bit of extra almond milk. Perfect. All right, let's put the lid on. <sighs> Give it a little shake. Yeah! Now let's blend it on up. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> wow. Yum! That looks so tasty! Okay, I'm gonna get a glass. Perfect! Yum! All right, let's pour our smoothie. <sighs> Yum! All right, now it's time for the raspberry song. Raspberry, ras, raspberry. Raspberry, ras, raspberry. A tiny fruit, red and sweet, called a raspberry. Raspberry, ras, raspberries. Oh, oh. Grows on a plant loved by honey bees. Raspberry, ras, raspberries. Raspberries, I think they're very, very yum. On waffles and in yogurt. Jam, juice, and pie filling. Raspberries, raspberries, 
berries. Hey, can you spell raspberry with me? Okay, here we go. R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y You did it! Great job! Come on, everybody. Sing along with me. Well, I sure did have a blast learning with you about how raspberries go all the way from the farm to your tummy! <laughs> well, if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. You know my name, right? Yeah, it's Blippi. Let's spell it together. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi! Good job! Now you know how to say and spell my name. See you again! Bye bye Hey! Yeehaw! Look at what's behind me! Yeah! It's a swather! We are going to have so much fun with swathers today. Let's go! There are two swathers! Let's learn the parts of the swather. Let's start at the front. Whoa! Yeah, that part, that's called the header. Whoa! That's where all the crops get sucked up into and cut up by blades. Ooh. And then, whoo! These are the wheels and the tires. Oh, up there, that's the cab. And how you get up there are the steps and the platform. Watch! Haha! <laughs> and last but not least, where the swather gets all of its power from 
is the engine. Wow! the header is raised to the top and the swather is turned off, I'm going to show you inside the header. Check it out. Whoa! Inside the header is so fascinating. Wow! We have a few main components in here. First, we have the turtles. <laughs> look, they kind of look like turtles, which then have the blades connected to them. They spin around really quick and the blades cut the crop. And then back there, wow, those are the rollers. The crop gets pushed back there and then the rollers crimp the crop. <laughs> And look at the back wheel and the back tire of the swather. It is really small. the swather. Whoa! I'm gonna show you how to drive the swather. First things first, safety first, we gotta buckle up. <laughs> Put on our seatbelt. Okay, now that our seatbelt's all buckled up, whoa, wee! Okay, we are ready to start the engine. Here we go! Woohoo! Yeah! 
We are going so fast. Look, we're driving a swather. Whee! So much fun having you sing and dance along to the tractor song. Come on, everyone, let's make learning fun. Blip, 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 blip. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout. Blip. 